Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. I know you probably thinking why am I wearing the same thing as in my previous video because literally I just uh, finished filming this cookie inspired balloon garland and literally jumped into next balloon garland. I am still editing this video to post and it's a lot, a lot going on with filming this week. So today's uh, balloon garland that I am preparing for tomorrow, it's gonna, this video is gonna be posted on Thursday, but the balloon garland for Wednesday and I am filming on Tuesday. <laughs> I hope it's not too confusing, but you get the point. I am preparing a, a small version of a balloon garland for one of the grocery stores that reached out to me and hired me to do something for Valentine's Day. They're gonna have the strawberry uh, station that they're gonna dip the strawberries in chocolate and they wanted something over their booth like a balloon garland and I am making one for them. So the color uh, theme will be Valentine's Day, red, white, uh, blush, and lots of uh, heart-shaped balloons, lots of different sizes in the balloon garland. So I will try to show you as much as I can. I will try to film as much as I can. I don't know if they will allow me to film inside of this grocery store. Uh, I'll ask, but anyways, let's go and uh, let's prep our balloon garland. This video will be more like of a vlog set up with me, balloon garland type of a thing. Here is what I will be using for tomorrow's balloon garland. Let me switch my camera and let me show you closer. I am using this beautiful baby pink matte foil self-sealing balloon. These red are glossy and white heart-shaped balloons in white matte as well. Then I have some Qualitex and BSA. These are 17, 5, 11. Tuftix. I have a lot of Tuftix as well. This is blush, 5, 11 inches. And baby pink in 11, 17. Last color that I have is red. 5, 16, and 11 from Qualitex. Time to inflate and see what we can create. You guys, something happened with my footage, so I am missing explaining these white latex heart balloons. Instead of using round 11-inch latex balloons, I decided on these hearts, and they look so adorable in this balloon garland. I am constructing my balloon garland with the necks of balloons from clusters. I'm just tying my necks together. And I love this technique, works the best, it's so much faster. So this is how I am planning to hang this balloon garland, just like this. I, I don't know what to do, either attach these guys already on my balloon garland or wait until I get there and attach it there because I don't know if this balloon garland will be visible only up front and on sides or it will be visible on both sides, back and front. All right, I blew up one of the pink heart balloons and I am kind of like looking where I want to place them. I will be inflating these on a spot because I don't want them to deflate when I will be transporting them. Uh, cold air hits it, these balloons are deflating. That's how it works, I don't know. But this with hearts looks so, so much better than just latex balloons. I am getting excited by just looking at it. It looks so good. Also, looking at it, this red is kind of getting lost. So I feel like I want to inflate little cluster of red and put it somewhere on this side to kind of even everything out. What I see these quads won't be so low. They will be in the balloon garland, so they will look so much better. I will leave this as is for now. I will go and I will pack now. I will grab everything that I need for tomorrow because I don't want to pack tomorrow morning. It's going to be a little bit hectic. I would have to send kids to school, get ready, pack, and leave to the spot. So. I want to do as much as I can today. For this job, I am taking my small suitcase because I know I would have to walk 
So I am grabbing every single balloon that I used for this balloon garland, obviously just in case if I need more balloons. I am absolutely taking my hand pump, my hard balloons that I need to use later on command hooks because I have no idea how this balloon garland will hang my uh, fishing line this is 20 pounds my apron that is loaded with a whole bunch of goodies I am taking this because it will be comfortable uh, hanging my balloon garland later on I don't have to go back and forth from my ladder I am grabbing glue dashes just in case because again I don't know how everything is going to go. I'd rather be overpacked than underpacked. So I feel like good night for now. I will see you tomorrow morning. I will bag my balloon garland in a bag tomorrow. I will probably inflate more balloons to bring with me. Uh, I'm not sure if my car will fit all the balloons, but I will try my best. And uh, yeah, good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> day two. Okay, I'm trying to make a coffee really fast because I need to pack my balloons and uh, storm the house out because I don't want to be late. So let's make coffee, pack everything into the car, and we're on our way. Nice morning, very cool. Woo. Let's go. I'm here. This is the spot where I will be doing my balloon garland. This is a banquet hall, but I am going to the grocery store right over here right there this is gonna be my station this, and I will be installing this balloon garment right there in the middle right above the station so they kind of started preparing for it look how cute <laughs> so adorable by the way the store I am working at is Shady Maple if you're local you guys you know what I'm talking about so super excited to work in the store. Step back. I want to be sure that both of my sides are looking great. So I'm walking to both sides to see what's going on explain how fruit and veggie purchases work at Shady Maple. You bag whatever you want into bags and go to weighing stations where you weigh your veggies and fruits to get a price. The spot where I worked at with balloons was exactly like every other weighing station. Every worker at the store has matching aprons. I was wearing my own hoodie AO balloons. You guys, <laughs> I lost count how many times I was asked to weigh the produce for customers. I'll include some of the requests from customers. You'll see or hear it for yourself. So far, I don't like this hard. I'm gonna move it. Let me show you the other side. This is the second side. I'm gonna work on it a little bit more. I will add one more white heart right there. Hey, do you know where they got the freshly made peanut butter? I have no idea. I don't work here. I'm sorry. Oh, you're picture person. Yes. Right, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> By the way, thank you about half. Like, 
this is it. I'm gonna call the ask if they like it or not, if I need to change anything. But I, I like it. I like how hearts are sticking out. And this is how it looks from here. And I'm pretty happy. I'm waiting on you to tell me if they like it or not. Uh, no, I don't work here. I'm sorry. All right, I'm changing a few things. Uh, I'm gonna bring the balloon garland a little bit down so it would look more wider and bigger. So I'm inflating more white and more red balloons using a hand pump. That should be fun. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yes. We're still here. Yes, almost there. <laughs> yeah, it takes time. I'm sure it does. I want to try to hang this thing. Better you than me. <laughs> Thanks. This is it. This is the final balloon garland. They wanted it to be lower, so it's not to get lost. And it looks pretty cute. I like all the hearts. So let's pack and go. Shady Maple Balloon Garland for their Valentine's Day setup spot where they will be dipping a whole bunch of goodies in chocolate. It was so much fun, you guys. I've really enjoyed working there. Uh, something very different, something very educational for me personally, for sure. I would probably do some things differently next time if there will be a next time with uh, this company with Shady Maple. I am not used to working with garlands that are extended from the ceiling. Uh, it's a lot different than having a balloon garland somewhere on the wall because you don't have to go back and forth from the ladder every single time you place a cluster or a balloon. So that was a workout i don't mind i need a workout always always take extra balloons with you you never know what's going to happen me personally i love to communicate with the client as i go because uh, you never know if they will like something or not i don't like to bring a client in when i'm like third done with what i was supposed to do because sometimes it can be deceiving sometimes you place a bigger balloon and it looks out of place but you have to fill in next to that big balloon to make it look good so i don't like to bring a client when i am not finished i like to bring a client in when i'm done when i think i am done and show it to the client and client gives me their final opinion this is what i did with this balloon garland i brought my clients in and they told me that they want something a little bit bigger or for the balloon garland to be lowered that's why I always take extra balloons with me because you never know what the client would want to change. You can definitely talk to your client, you know, explain why you did certain things, but always, always, always talk to a client. Um, I did exactly what they wanted. I lowered the balloon garland from my fishing line. I, by the way, I attached my balloon garland to my ceiling with fishing line to those metal holders that hold the whole ceiling. Uh, I lowered the fishing line down to bring my balloon garland down and then I inflated more balloons with a hand pump that was a workout to bring my balloon garland down and give my balloon garland more of a cone looking shape because that's what that's exactly what they wanted it and I gave it to them so hopefully they are happy with the final outcome I couldn't bring them in a last time because they're busy working as a marketing team and i am so happy they reached out to me thank you so much and uh, i sent them a whole bunch of pictures uh, to make sure that they like what they see and it uh, looks like they like it so i am happy 
that my clients are happy. I also absolutely love that I placed a whole bunch of hearts and they kind of like upside down, sideways, facing forward. It's hard to place a heart balloon that would face forward. I don't want to risk it with glue dots because uh, you know that glue dots don't uh, really like foiled balloons. <laughs> so I tried my best to twist my balloons so they would look perfect in my balloon garland and avoid my glue dots at any cost. So I used 260s to attach uh, all of my hard balloons. Always, always get yourself extra foiled balloons because you never know when that foil balloon will deflate on you. One of the hearts deflated on me, so I had to climb back and change that balloon. No problem there, but always buy yourself an extra foiled balloons because uh, as uh, I encountered the situation here we changed the shape and we added more balloons so that means I would have to add more hard balloons so it worked out great now I need some food <laughs> I only have coffee that I drank halfway on the way here I need like a sandwich or something something to in my belly and I have an appointment to do my nails I gotta pamper myself right and then fly home get kids from school and uh, get ready because we are leaving to a water park that's exciting something new for us we've never been in the indoor water park so i'm excited for that i hope you'll have a wonderful wonderful amazing weekend ahead of you and have fun you guys relax stay warm if you're in pennsylvania or anywhere else where it's cold stay warm because it's very cold it's 27 right now it's freezing in here and we're supposed to get more snow. I'm renting right now. Camera's dying. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye.